Hey everybody, I'm in Prospect Park today with my friend Kelly. You can see her stretching in the background. Um, we're gonna do a workout in the park and we're so excited because it's our first workout for spring. So um, follow along with us, here we go. Make sure you do a thorough warm up before you start. You're gonna do each exercise for 30 seconds in a row and then rest for one minute. You'll repeat that whole thing two more times and then cool down. To start, step your feet a little bit wider than your hips, with your toes slightly pointed out to the sides. You're going to start a plie pulse squat. Make sure that you keep your shoulders over your hips, so your butt's not going back like in a regular squat, but you're going straight down. Your knees should be going in the same line as your toes. Keep your pelvis in a neutral position so it's neither tilting forward nor tucking back. Okay, the second exercise is mini arm punches. Stand up with your arms out to a T at shoulder height. Make little fists with your hands, slightly bend your elbows in, and then punch straight out. Do that as fast as you can without overworking the upper traps. So keep space between your shoulders and your ears. We're going back to the legs for switch lunge jumps. So you're gonna start in a lunge position with your front knee over your front ankle and your back knee pointing down to the floor. You'll jump up and switch legs so your other foot goes forward. If jumping isn't for you today, no worries. Just step your other foot forward and keep switching like that. Now this is where it starts to get challenging, especially on your second and third sets. So I want you to keep on going. You're doing a great job, you're almost there. Next up, we've got side plank with a twist. Set yourself up so that your shoulder is directly over your wrist and your feet are stacked. Now there are a few different variations for side plank. Instead of having your feet stacked, you could have one in front of the other. Or you can bend the top knee and place the sole of the foot on the ground for a little bit more support. Also, if you feel like the pressure on your wrist is a little bit too much, you can take your forearm down to the floor for a side plank from your forearm. Once you get that all set up, you're going to take your top arm and thread it underneath your bottom armpit. Look in that direction and twist from your waist and then open back up to the side plank. Make sure that you're keeping your inside waist lifted up high so you're maintaining a strong plank position from head to toe. After you've done side plank with a twist on both sides for 30 seconds, You'll take a one minute rest and then go back to the top. Repeat the whole set two more times before you cool down. If you are watching this, I know you are ready to ignite your health. So go to sparkswellness.com to get on our newsletter list for free weekly updates to make you fall in love with your body and fall in love with your life.